Hi, this is Colleen Grotzer for Creative Pro. In this video, we'll get into export tags, what they are and why they're important for accessibility and how to set them. Export tags set the structure of a document. So when you export to a PDF, there will be a tag structure. And that tag structure conveys the structure of the document to users of assistive technology. So they can tell what a heading level one is, a heading level two, and so forth. And there are six levels of possible headings. The tags will also convey list items, tables, images, and other elements. You can set export tags in a couple of places. Your paragraph styles is one of those. So here we've got an H1 style. This is a top level heading, heading level one. And we can just double click and go down to export tagging and assign it the H1. So that's our cover. And then we have a table of contents and this has an H2, which is also used for these other subheadings, heading level two. And so we wanna go into those and tag that style as H2. We've also got an H3. We wanna tag that in here as well. Now, another way that you can do this is to go up to the flyout menu in the paragraph styles palette and then click edit all export tags. And then make sure when you come into this window that you're clicking on PDF. And so here you can come in here and tag everything. So paragraph text is always gonna be tagged as a P. Heading one, you wanna tag as an H1. Heading two, heading three, and so forth to their corresponding tags. And I like to use the edit all export tags window to check everything when I'm done before I export the PDF. Now, you always wanna leave your table of contents items and tables and bulleted lists set to automatic. InDesign does not currently allow us to set the proper tag for those, but they usually come across fine in the PDF as long as you've used the built-in table of contents and tables and list features. Now, you'll notice another tag that's here, and that is artifact. Artifact is another tag that you can use that you would want to use for your running headers and footers and page numbers because you don't want a screen reader to read them. Because if you did so, then it would disrupt the flow of text, meaning a screen reader would read a running header and then the page content and then the next page's running header and so forth. You know, sighted readers don't read these from page to page, obviously, so we want to make sure that they get ignored. Okay, so let's export the PDF, and we want to export to interactive. And you want to make sure that create tagged PDF and use structure for tab order are checked. So now when we go into Acrobat, first, we want to make sure the tags panel is visible. If you don't see tags there, you can reset your panes. And then you can right click again or control click and then go down to tags. So we can inspect the tags here. So we have a document tag and then an article tag. And then we have three section tags. The first section tag is for the cover because I use the articles panel. So that's what these three things are here, these three sections, cover, and then the table of contents, and then the body text. So we had set our H1 in the document in InDesign, and you can see that that comes across here. You can also see that this is our H2, and the TOC items that we left aren't untagged set to automatic, those have come across as TOC and then TOCI. And then over here, we've got our H2, and then we have a paragraph. And we can use the arrow key to just to scroll down through these. There's our H3, a paragraph, an H4, another paragraph. And here is our list. And you can see that's tagged with an L. And then each list item is an LI. And within those, we have an LBL, the label, which is the bullet itself, and then L body, which is the list text. And then we have another paragraph. We have another heading two. 
paragraph, paragraph, heading three, paragraph, and then we have a table. So our table, which we'd actually want to drag out of here and delete this P tag, just an aside there, we have a T head and a T body. So our T head is what happens when we have converted those body rows to header rows in the table in InDesign, and then we have our body text. So if we go back to InDesign and we look at that table, you'll see that I've already converted that to a header row, and that is why in the PDF we have a T head and then the T body. So T head for the header rows, and then we have the T body for the body rows. So that is what export tags are, and that's how they affect a document structure, and that's how you set them.